Oh, look, broken arrow. 21 days left and 20 seconds. Wow. So you guys, welcome to Icarus, the session-based PvE game that is in beta right now. Uh, they're doing uh, beta weekends, which currently right now is October 9th through the 10th so we have a limited time to play this so let's just jump right into it Welcome back. When the thanks first time here south, UDA their bio satellites and walked away okay well now they're falling out of the sky oh. three in the last month their payload some kind of enzyme biotech designed to reshape worlds oh so there's a few interested parties but UDA figures they've done enough damage. They want their warheads back before anyone else gets them. There's fragments right up in the Arctic. Okay. So you'll be facing the worst of the wilds. We're in the Arctic? Think you're ready? Ooh. No, I'm not ready. This is my first time here. So anyway, you guys, thanks for being here today. If you guys like the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And let's just jump right into this. Looks like our objectives are to retrieve bio warhead from crashed satellite in the forest. Okay. So we're going to be in the forest. Retrieve bio warhead from crashed satellite in North Arctic and South Arctic. And then uh, return them to the dropship. So we have these objectives or what we need to do. Let's claim. Yes. Uh, before the session times out. Now, when the game fully releases, they are going to have sessions um at different intervals some of them i think they've said they can be as short as 30 minute sessions other ones i don't know how long they can be but like this one for the beta weekend it's only two days so it's gonna be interesting to kind of jump into a survival game that is kind of session based and it's limited i'm really excited to, to get involved in this i'm really excited to jump in so i'm really hoping you guys are excited to watch this too i can't wait for this gun to stop spinning and we can just load into the game <laughs> so we are salvaging uh alien planets uh, that are not i mean i guess they're alien planets they're planets that uh people don't live on anymore because terraforming has gone severely wrong so everyone's kind of moved up to space now i work for a major corporation and my job is to come down here gather resources to bring them back up for trade building and all that kind of cool stuff so let's get into it here we are we are in the game Wow. Wow, we're in another space game, you guys. Don't forget the radar. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that is sick. Mountains right there. Look at this. Find your future on New Horizons. Wow. Just got some magazines. Okay, and we're here. It may not be your first time down. This one's gonna take some planning. We Look don't at have this. Much terrain data. The crash sites are marked on your map, though. Okay, M. UDA needs you to get to the goodish. Or anyone else gets <laughs> too ambitious. Uh, so okay, so here's one. Getting into serious territory. Uh, great. So gear up. Okay, well, we are level uh, journey, zero. Friend. Twenty-four hundred. Okay, player drop ship. Downed player. There's currently nobody here with us, but here's satellites right here. Oh, here are the, the three right here. So this one to the west is closest. So it, this is a survival game too. So kind of the first things first. Uh, F. There we go. We need to gather up supplies because we're going to be here for, you know, a certain amount of time. In this case, two uh, IRL days. So we need to gather up everything. This is giving us fiber. And sticks because we need to get a little uh, fort, little base made, and I don't know how the crafting works. I I logged in for three minutes just to see if um uh, if it was functional because I've seen some other YouTubers play this and it was like super laggy and I was just, you know if it was if it was gonna be terrible, I didn't even want to waste my time putting out a video. But it's uh, it seems like it's running very very smooth. Now, one of the cool things about this game, I mean, other than the fact that we're just, we're, we're in another survival game on some alien planet somewhere, gathering up all the fiber, <laughs> is uh, they have um, storms. You gotta be kidding me. I'm stuck. Just instantly, I'm stuck. Look at this, you guys. We did it. The Goodish Gamer is stuck on day one. There we go. Okay. <laughs> we're good. We're getting my squatted down. Oh, it's, it's kind of fast, isn't it? Squat, squat. So anyway, let's just look around real quick. This is absolutely beautiful. 
Now I am playing on epic settings. I may have to turn them down a little bit later. We'll see what the uh, storms bring in. But that's the thing. There's weather effects too. So storms will come in here. We need shelter to get away from the storms. To get out of the cold. There is... What is this? Lily? I have no idea what anything does. Um, yeah. I've spent three minutes in game. Now probably, what is it? Five minutes total. So we need to kind of come around here and gather up everything. Get away from the trees. And then it's looking like we can use an axe to chop down trees. Also, there's something over here. Ooh, berries. A pickaxe. Okay, so just like any other survival game, we need to figure out how to craft. I'm going to hit tab. No, that's map. I. So here's our inventory here. Crafting. Um, Looks like... Oh, right there. There's a recipe. So we need fiber, sticks, and a stone. We are shy four stones so we need to find some more stones and i'm pretty sure we can find those just on the ground here's one perfect what a beautiful game this is this is so cool you guys i love how chill this is too now i know there's wildlife uh there's deer we can hunt and other animals we can speak of the devil but uh, we can hunt them for food and i think skin and whatnot what is this is this a cave no but there's also, I think there's wolves. I know there's bears because I've, I've seen some YouTubers get wrecked by some bears. So let's just come in here real quick. We need to come to crafting. Let's go ahead and craft this guy up. Did we just click on it? Yeah, okay, so we click on it and that is done. Now we need six more stones to build the ax. Oh, but we can actually do this now. Oxide. Oh, I love this animation, you guys. Look at this, 27. At 28 is uh, kind of hovering off of here. So I guess that's how much damage we're doing to this rock. Oxite. I'm pretty sure oxite is oxygen because uh, we have food. Looks like, what is it? Water, food, oxygen, and temperature. And we need to manage. So it's really cool. It's going to be a lot of fun stuff going on here. We got, we got to figure it all out. I can't tell if I have stamina. Uh, I'm not seeing... A place where my stamina is draining but our tools do have durability so that is really cool so now we oh level up awesome so uh we have all the stone now so we should be able to come here to crafting we need this for the trees to get wood and uh from what i've heard we need like everything oh and the food spoils too look at that 613 seconds until spoils so consume um our oxygen is going down hold on i think if we come here to inventory oxygen right here we can grab this oxide and stick it right there and that should we're at 80 percent. that should start yeah 82 percent. that should start refilling it so we have to we have to figure out oxygen as well guys so we got to figure out a solution for oxygen uh, for our temperature for our water and our food now the food is going to come obviously there's water right there our food's going to come from uh animals which let's go and chop down a tree see if that does anything does that unlock anything for us what a pretty game i'm i'm loving this you guys this is so cool and i think we can chop these down and like further down into wood there we go oh okay so that gave us uh logs it just says wood so there's sticks and there's wood Let's see, what does it say? It says, roughly cut wood timber ready for crafting bench. Okay, you scared me, bro. So, that deer over there, we can um, we can take him out. So, we're going to have to look at building a, uh, what is it? Like a bone arrow or something? A slingshot? Something? Sword? We have to find a way to uh, get food. Now, once we get food figured out, we have these resources figured out. So, now I'm pretty sure we can start building our little uh shelter and i'm not gonna go crazy with it right now um because we need to go explore we go oh, what the crap <laughs> we we have the objectives we need to do so not only are we out here trying to survive but we also have objectives from our spaceship up there which i don't even think or our space station up there that is cool look at that yeah, I don't think we can see it from here. But uh, once we get everything done, we come back here to our launch pad. Dude, there's deer. And then we go back up to the uh, space station. And that ends this session. Now, the cool thing is, from my understanding, is that we can keep 
everything, basically all the progress that we've made. Um, so like when the next beta weekend comes out, I should keep my levels. And that's kind of how the session base works is um, we, we level up. And then even if the session ends, we can always start a new session. It's basically a different location. Uh, that's my understanding anyway. I, I cannot fully confirm it. Oh, there's my there's my stamina right there in the middle. Stamina depleted. Okay, cool. So that is a thing. Now, I should also point out too, and something I'm really impressed by. A lot of times in these survival games, the maps are procedurally generated. Well, in Icarus, this map anyway, and I think the majority of the maps, uh, if there's going to be more or multiple maps later on, which I think there are, uh... Typically, they're procedurally generated. These are hand-authored. That means that this map was handmade, which I, I I appreciate, and I actually really like that. So, I'm getting a little a little low on water. Uh, procedurally generated is really cool for, you know, keeping things interesting. Dude, there's fish down here. You know, always keeping yourself guessing there is a, a goat. Was that a goat? <laughs> but hand drawn, hold the drink. There we go. So we have water solution. Two. Wait, what was that? Consumer fill container. Oh, bottom left. I have something. Is that a parasite? Oh, you know what? We ate that berry, and there's 367 left on the berries. So it looks like we feed on that over time. It looks like we may have got some kind of toxin or virus or parasite or something from drinking this water. So we're probably going to have to get a campfire online. I can't remember what I was talking about. I think procedurally during... Yeah, no, this this uh, this uh map is hand-authored. I love that. So let's see. What can we stack in here? Dude, I'm kind of going through that quick, right? Okay, so let's come here to the tech tree. Um. Oh, wow. Stone pile. Wood pile. These are checked. I'm confused. Does that mean that we... Let's see. So the tech tree... Oh, we just, uh, there we go. Campfire. So we learned these somehow. Maybe just by picking up the wood and stone? I'm a little confused by that. A fire whacker. Uh, quickly beats out fires. That's another thing that's really cool, you guys. The fire can, like, run rampant and burn down buildings and everything. So you can build this entire, like, base, and then a fire, one little fire can burn it out and take it out if you don't put it out in time. Uh, bedroll, we should probably get that. How many points do I have? One point available. We should probably get into... Let's see, where is the... Here's the bow and arrow. Required level 5. This one requires... Let's see, what are my prerequisites on this one? Crafted out at character. We should... Okay, so let's go ahead and get the bow for now. And then um, we can unlock the arrow here shortly. Talents? Oh, look at this. Wow, this is crazy cool. Um... Go with the flow, increased swim speed, swift survival, increased uh, to increase to base movement, increase to base health. Let's go ahead and increase our health. We have no more points. So, so we just did that. Okay, so as we level, uh, let's see, tech tree, I think requires level 10. Yeah, so tier 2 will become available at level 10. So we just kind of grind it out. Okay, so we need to level up quick because we got to get food under control. We can craft a campfire now, and I, I think I want to stay near this, but I don't want to build, like, right on it because I'm pretty sure that if it takes off, it'll burn our base. So I don't even know if we can... Uh, we can craft a wood pile. Maybe, maybe we should do that. Let's craft a wood pile. And that took, I think, wood from our inventory. But we need to get some stone online. Let's go ahead and put the wood pile right here. There we go. And I think that frees up our inventory. Now we need to find some more stone so we can build a campfire. And I don't know yet if it's just level-based. Uh, like we unlock things simply based on our level. Or if as we craft things, uh, we, we uh, unlock more stuff. So we're going to learn that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to grind it out for just a little bit. Our parasite thing is going down. I think we're going to be okay. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we're back. Campfire, let's go ahead and craft it real quick and then see what that does for us. I love it shows our inventory over here even when we're in the crafting menu. Pretty cool. It saves a lot of time from having to click back here, here, and all this kind of cool stuff. So, uh, three. 
There's deer right there. We have to figure out how to get deer as well. Um, let's see. Press F to interact. Hold uh, X to pick up. So let's press F. Activate. Requires fuel. Look at this. Recipes. Uh, recipes requiring containers. So I'm pretty sure we're going to need wood. Can we use sticks? Oh, it says right there. Wood, stick, fiber, or coal ore. Nice. And I'm, I would imagine that uh, each of these has a different length of uh, burn time. Like coal would probably be the most efficient. Look at that. And we have fire. So let's go ahead and close that. Um, I want to see if maybe... Look at this deer just looking at me. Oh, you guys. There is a weather event incoming. We... Oh, man. I've been, I've been moving fast, too. But we're not moving fast enough. We don't have the levels to make a base. Oh, that's not good. You guys hear the weather. It's like... The wind's starting to blow. Oh, the animals are getting scared. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is. The wind is blowing. There's leaves blowing everywhere. Uh, okay, we have to act fast. I don't know... Uh, I don't know what classifies as a weather event. If it's something, like, absolutely terrible that wrecks our face. Oh! Okay, it's super windy. I hear thunder. I hear lightning. Okay, not good at all. Um, <laughs> okay, here we, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and chop down some, some trees. We gotta get moving. We gotta get moving fast. I think. Now, I'm pretty sure we're playing it on easy. Um, I didn't choose it. That's just what it dropped me into. So, I'm thinking maybe for now, it's not gonna be, like, terrible. We are gonna have weather. We're gonna have lightning and, and thunder, which the lightning can strike. And it can uh, catch fire. We just leveled up. So hopefully uh, now we can start making a shelter. Did that put out our fire? Actually, we didn't have our fire lit. So I love how there's water dripping down our screen. Lightning, look. Yeah, no shelter. Uh, storm exposure, no. Uh, let's see, tech tree. We need to figure out where. Oh, you guys, it's all the way over here. A thatch beam. So three points. We have to do that. Thatch floor. Okay, so there we go. We've got that. And then thatch wall. We definitely need that. I'm hoping I can use a floor as a wall. So let's just go real quick. Let's, uh, we should have all the thatch crafting. Let's build, um, four of these just to get it going. Oh, so fast. We need to go, go, go. Let's go ahead and build, um, four of these. And then walls. Okay. We gotta act fast. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we do this. We do this. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, four. I'm thinking maybe we can just do this little number. We can go here and then we can go four. We can place... Oh, no, no. Three. We can place this here. There. 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 And here. It's in the ground. It did move uh, some of the ground away, so that's pretty cool. Now, if we come to five, we can do this. I'm not even caring right now uh, what side is facing out and which side isn't. I'm thinking maybe I want to put a door right here. I don't know how to... Let's see. Uh, place variance. R is variance. Oh, we hold it down. Uh, yeah, there we go. Right there. Um, and then we can rotate it. R. Oh, if we tap R. Okay, okay, okay. Now, if... Oh, you know what we didn't do? Hold on. Hold on, you guys. Right here. We need to craft up four of these. Before we die. You can hear me breathing. Oh, man. We're breathing so hard. Can we... Oh, please, please. No way, no way. Look at that. The storm exposure is going down just in time. Oh, my God, you guys. That. Listen to the thunder. That was so close. Now we're warm. Our heat is going up. We are so thirsty. We're hungry. There's lightning nearby. <laughs> this is, there's a level two medium deer right there. We have. Okay, hold on. Tech tree. Talents? Uh, no. Steady breathing reduces oxygen consumption rate. That's really good. Carbo load reduce your hunger rate. That one might be actually kind of good too. Oxygen. I feel like we can always get food. Uh, dense packing lumber. Skilled. Okay. I'm just trying to figure this all out. I, I, this is my first time playing, you guys. So bear with me here. 
I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And then subscribe as well. And then let me know down there in the comments if you want to see more. Because I'm having a blast. This is so much fun already. So storm exposure. Looks like we can now come back outside. Um, top right it says it's 19 degrees Celsius. Storm incoming is what it says. That's interesting. Now we really need more water. Uh, but I'm not seeing... Let's see. Crafting. It's this, right? I'm not seeing... Like, any containers where well, we can make containers, like... Is there a water collector we should have done for when it was raining? There's a fire pit? Wooden floor, so it looks like, yeah, we can go from thatch to wood. And I think there's also stone as well. Huh. And it may be later on. I'm not entirely sure how to get water yet. Because I know we can put it in a container. Because when we go to the water, it says put in container. We're probably going to need a torch, too, for when it gets really dark. Uh, but we don't have any points left, so we're just going to keep leveling up. And then we have to figure out... I guess our food for now is going to be berries, and it's not a very good diet. Consume. So then bottom left, yeah, we got some berries there. Now what happens if I stack these? I, I don't know if I get sick or if I have, like, get diarrhea in the game. <laughs> if we drink this water raw, consume or fill containers... Uh, I mean, we have to drink it right now. That's the only thing we have. Oh, that one, that one didn't give us, oh, look at this, you guys. That one didn't give us anything. We got to kill it. I'm so sorry. What a cute little, oh, man, what a cute little thing. We're freezing in here. Oh, we need a knife. Hold to carry. So we have a rabbit carcass on our person. That's going to take care of our food real good. So that's interesting, you guys. We drank that time. We didn't get the little, uh, the little virus sign. Look at our terrible looking base. I'm thinking maybe if we do this, that it'll probably make it look a little better. Right there. Yeah, a little bit better. There we go. And then, I don't know, just, just to get rid of this thing, because I don't, we, we don't have another use for it. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So we need to make a knife as well. Is that something? Oh, yeah, look at this. Fiber stone, but we need to unlock it first. Mmm. Interesting. Two fiber, two stick, four stone. Definitely should have done that. Uh, so I guess right now what we're going to do is go around and uh, I'm going to continue trying to level up so then we can start unlocking more of the stuff. And I'll be right, right back with you guys again. All right, everybody, and we're back. So we're just going to stick some uh, sticks on the fire. There we go. Activate that for some light and then that increased our temperature as well. We were getting cold and hungry. So... Now that the fire is going, we are warming back up. I hope it actually doesn't jump over to our, <laughs> to our uh, building right there. Let's go ahead and unlock this. I want to unlock this real quick because now if we hit G, uh, Q drops it. There's our bunny. Now if we just hit F, what do we do here? Oh, we, uh, we equip the knife now did we not oh we didn't craft it we just uh we just unlocked it okay all right come on come on goodish let's go man uh three so now if we hit three now we can hold f to skin there we go you guys and now i'm hoping we can take let's just take all okay we come over here and then we can take the meat and maybe stick it right there deactivate cooked meat look at that Oh, okay, so in 49 seconds, so that gives us meat. That takes care of some of our hunger a little bit. Um, the water is somewhere. It is, look how dark it is. <laughs> it's so dark. I think the water's down that way. We should probably craft ourselves a torch as well. Um, did you guys hear a growl? I thought I heard a growl. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah, our food is low. We have to get this thing under control, like, ASAP. Right now, there it is. This is now cooked meat. Let's bring it down here real quick. If we hit four, left mouse button, we just eat it. Our hunger now is going up. Perfect. That took care of that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. I will be playing it anyway because of the beta weekend. I, I'm going to be taking as much advantage of this time as possible and uh, trying to level up and get ready for... Uh, more videos or, you know, the future beta weekends and then the final release here in November. So anyway, 
I really appreciate you guys being here with me. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And then I will see you in the next one. This is The Goodish Gamer signing out.